Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a tier 10 game in my radar Minotaur, going over the matchmaking. Basically all the battleships are a threat to me. Uh, Venencia, Moskva, Stalingrad all have nasty AP. Um, Mogami is not really that much of a threat. And the DDs I can pretty much uh, have my way with if I can catch them at close range. So, Radar Minotaur, it was a video that was requested about a week ago, and basically just uh, haven't got really got around to playing it that often, and uh, got a game in there that I felt had some uh, good learning opportunities on how to play this, and this is not a clean game, I, I do make some mistakes that I do uh, think cost us the game. Uh, to note, the work in progress, I'm just a potato and didn't have the, uh, the right settings on OBS. I can't see that obviously when I'm playing it, so uh, Minotaur, there's no changes. Uh, the work in progress is myself, I'm still a potato figuring things out. So my game plan is I'm going to push down here to A cap and try to support my low yang. We're relatively light on A cap and this is going to create a situation um, that directly leads to us uh, this situation that, that I end up kind of stuck in in the, the mid and late game. And that is, take a look at our positioning. Okay, we've got a low Yang that's, he's just rushing right into cap. You know, you've got Stalin, Moskva, you know, you've got a DD that outspots you. There's a lot going on here. He's spotted, or not spotted, he's uh, rushed right into the cap. Of course, both radar ships are here. I'm telling him you need to go situational awareness already us three down here we can't hold the cap we have to wait for these curfers to decide that they're actually going to get in the fight and get down here um, so right away this is already a losing proposition so Lo Yang still just tooling right along. He's literally most likely waiting for his torpedoes to come up. He's going to get radared here very shortly by, I believe, the Stalingrad. Actually, I think he's already radared with the shots coming out. He smoked up with uh, the radar. Obviously, that's not going to work. And it is Stalingrad radar. I just catch the edge of it right there. And what I'm doing right here is a, a really common, a really solid solid delaying tactic with Minotaur. And that's just laying these belts of torpedoes out here. And you're basically daring them to push into two walls of torpedoes. And right here, um, I'm just kind of waiting for a decent opportunity to deal damage. And just, we've lost our, our DD. He basically just smoked up and just let himself get radar to death in the cap. Um, and I'm trying to let my Smolensk and my Montana know, this flank's lost. It, it's already done. The Kerfers, they're, they're already kiting out now. The issue with, with this positioning, all of our battleships, you'll notice, are in a line. That's going to enable all of these ships down here. You got Moskva, St uh, Stalingrad, the Kerfirst. You know, all these ships are super tanky on their bow. They can put, point their bow right at these battleships and shove right in. And all these battleships, there's nothing they can do to, to stop them. So I know we're about to get pushed hard here. Montana, he's, he's throwing his ship away. You can't, you can't do this kind of stuff, guys. 
you know, you're one ship. Look at all these ships down here. That's what, 1v4, 1v5? It's, it's just not going to work. So I'm pushing up here. I'm going to try to get another torpedo wave off. But I know this Montana, he's he's dead at this point. Uh, nothing really that, that anybody can do can save him. He just chose to, to get in this position. I'm debating on torping either behind or in front of him. Um, trying to look to see what this Montana is doing. And just took a quick look there. Looks like he's starting to reverse because that's what you do when you're being apparently rushed by all of this stuff. And I drop a set of torpedoes right at basically right down this line basically baiting all of these ships to to push out once this montana went down they only re probably see myself and the curve first so they're going to be inclined to push up and this is a, a really good opportunity to get some delaying torps in on the enemy got both racks out again and just gonna kite back uh, there's nothing that I can do to stop this push. Um, and I'm not even happy really with my positioning here because, again, I need, this is nice, but I need crossfire to be able to be effective with my AP. So I do get detected. I just radar the summers. This is, uh, you know, Unfortunately, the Summers is pointed away the correct way and not really able to punish it. We got some good torps coming in here right now. Oh, yeah. It's actually the uh, Summers. His, it's the rest of his div mates right there. And that's, that's one of the primary holding or methods that you can try to, to delay and hold a flank. Um, I've, I've been pretty conservative with my gun so far. I am going to open up here, going to try to get this uh, Stalingrad down. But unfortunately my aim is just not good enough and... This Moskva is, or this Stalingrad is going to be able to uh, to angle away. Now the, a misplay here. Maybe I shouldn't have shot. Maybe I should have just pushed in and kept that uh, Stalingrad spotted. Hindsight, I, I don't know. That's a crapshoot. You're relying on your team to uh, to pick up the kill, and that's that's not always a good option. Now. The enemy, I know they're still going to push here. Uh, there's nothing really preventing them from pushing up here outside of, you know, the Smolensk and myself. Our Kerfurst is going to go down. And you can see just the two caps and just losing the two ships, how points are just spiraling out of control at this point. And I, I know I've got to get aggressive, but where do you go? If I if I push into B-cap, I'm going to be pushing into radar. I'm going to be pushing into crossfire all over the place. I can't go to B-cap. The only thing I can do is try to roll back this flank, but that's going to take a little bit of time because these are all really tanky ships when they can angle right to me. So I'm trying to use my torpedoes to... Uh, to accomplish this I do get detected and I'm able to pick up the Kagero here and me and the, the uh, Smolensk are going to be able to gangbang this this Kagero and knock him out the nice thing here my AP is going to kind of fix him in place every time he goes to try to turn out he's going to get hammered hard by me and it's basically just a nasty crossfire he tries to angle to the the Smolensk he ends up taking a bunch of pen damage from me uh, he angles to me and the Smolensk hammers him just as well and just able to pick up that kill there 
and I'm using the first of my repairs to try to tank through the damage that I was receiving while uh, I was being shot at by the Kerfurst and the Moskva. Now this Kerfurst is actually really being a pain right now. Uh, he is he's pretty much holding things up right now and we're three minutes 34 seconds from the end of the game so I need to get up here and I need to you know really start trying to get this guy down hindsight maybe I should be shooting more um, I'm not entirely wild about trying to tank a battleship at uh, you know 10 to 13 kilometers with a minotaur that doesn't have smoke so I'm trying to rely on my torpedoes to uh, get this guy out of the way but this curve is pushing up you see how just how far I'm getting pushed out of position and you know that's a lot of that's the result of look at the enemy battleship position look how spread out they are they have crossfire all over the map. Every which way you you look, they've got a stead to rights. So they're almost in a line halfway across the map. You look at our battleships, they're huddled up. Most of them are behind islands where they can't even shoot most of the enemy team. And th so they have no fields of fire, they have no crossfires, and they're not able to deal damage effectively. And you know when when you've got that situation you're just not going to be able to to deal damage uh like you want to and uh you know it's it's just it just kind of sucks now at this point i've kind of committed to uh, this guy's gonna die or i'm gonna die one of the two i i need to make a stand right here i wait until my torps are just about spotted and open up on the curve first trying to distract him give those torps just a couple more seconds to push in there and pick up that kill now as soon as he goes down I, i'm just turning bow into b cap um and i it's not even really so much b cap it's we're at a point now where uh we need to contest every cap so i my team needs to get into b cap asap I need to get into ACAP ASAP, and I am horribly out of position to do that right now. Um, we got two minutes, 50 seconds left in the battle. Um, and, you know, just trying to sail as fast as I can right back down. And, I mean, we're in a position where we can't, we can't lose people either. Um, you know, we're, we're quickly running out of out of options here uh, I am going to open up on the Minotaur or the Mogami even though this is uh, pretty much beyond effective range uh, it's just a broadside target and anything that I can do to try to either get damage on this guy or force him to angle to me which could open him up to another teammate to shoot him uh, I'm all for it Just trying to put down the Mogami. Just not enough lead. Like I said, that's that's really beyond my effective range to shoot at a maneuvering cruiser. Uh, but desperate times, desperate measures. And I am pushing towards A for the life of me. I don't know why this Kerfurst is not in the cap. He's just been sitting there, and I mean, it's it's costing us big time. So, call and target on the Yamato. Everybody needs to shoot this guy if they can. Uh, I'm even going to open up on him here shortly, as soon as I get into range, because we just need to get this guy down.
got issues with the Shimakaze. He's just been out on the, the 910 line for most of the game. And, I mean, when we're down to the wire like this, you can't do that as a destroyer player. Um, it is what it is. Now, again, this is not a favorable engagement. I am just trying to push this Moskva out of the way so maybe I can, I can get on to a cap but the issue that i'm going to run into is a crossfire between the moskva and the stalingrad as soon as i clear this island i'm going to be in a crossfire between these two and i'm going to need to do something about that i'm going to need to kill one of them as quickly as i can because i'm not going to live long in that crossfire we're down to 45 seconds and this is just total desperation just pushing out here I've decided, let's see what the, the uh, Stalingrad's doing. He's probably looking at me. Gonna pop my radar. There he is. Thankfully, he's showing me a little bit of broadside. And I slow down right here. The only reason I slow down, I know he's gonna shoot, and I'm trying to, to juke his shot. There we go. It gives me a little bit extra time to, to get some damage out on this guy. Now, I've uh, mistake here. I'm just Stalingrad's got you know enhanced AP penetration angles, and I know that. Um, I think the uh, the better solution there would have been to try to bow into the Stalingrad. Uh, I was worried about this Moskva. He was shooting AP at me. I knew he was shooting AP at me. Um, I was worried if I turned in sharp enough, either which way that I, I turn, basically, it's it's kind of a soup sandwich, and I'm going to get hammered by one of them. And uh, it was the uh, the Moskva, or the, the Stalingrad chunked me down, and then before I'm able to recover, the front guns of the Moskva are uh, on the way to finish me off and that's basically going to end this game we've got 20 seconds left on the clock their summers is going to disengage and that's going to be that um, so what's some of the things that i could have done this game to, to make a difference um, That's a hard one. Um, I think that I could have used my guns more. I did end up with quite a bit of HP at the end of the game. Um, I think more aggressive use of the guns. Um, maybe going to B cap, but that's, that's going to be really touchy because most of that game you've got a Stalingrad radar covering it, as well as a summer spotting everything going into to b cap um if i go to b cap i might be able to kill the summers um but in the meantime i'm i'm dealing with multiple battleships a stalingrad and a moskva that can all have cross shots at me it's b cap was just a very i felt like it's a very hot place so i i don't know if there's anything else that i could have done this game uh I mean, the end result, it, don't take, get me wrong, it's, uh, it's a pretty solid game. Um, but this, this is a game that I felt like that we could have won. And, you know, maybe the, maybe the team not pushing into B-cap earlier, that was a decisive issue. Um. But, you know, at the end of the day, we needed to do something, and it just didn't happen, and we ended up basically losing on points. Uh, point pressure basically at the very end forced me into that situation just to try to, to go as fast as I could. And even though it's not ideal, you know, sometimes you, you got to try to make a play and maybe, maybe get lucky. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this game with uh, Minotaur. Not a ship that I play all the time, but it is a very exciting ship. Uh, it's very 
by the seat of your pants a lot of the time. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will talk to you later.